I guess you love movies. I do too. Hi guys and welcome back to another classic movie review and today we're going to be talking about The Treasure of Sierra Madre directed by John Houston, starring uh, Humphrey Bogart, Tim Holt and Walter Houston, um, and is about the story of three men um, two of them you see from the beginning, Humphrey Bogart and Tim Holt who meet in a small town in Mexico looking for work um, and when they're in w one of the hostels um, for the night they stumble upon a guy called Howard, an older prospector, talking about the prospect of gold in and around the Sierra Mountains in this area. Uh, they take him up on his offer and begin trekking and start looking for the gold in the Sierra Mountains. And this is a story of how greed ends up corrupting them all. Now, um, I've heard about this film quite a bit. Um, um, John Huston is a Hollywood director. I've heard a lot of things about, obviously I did a review of The Maltese Falcon, another one of his films with Humphrey Bogart on this channel. That was a film that really made him as a director. He was already a writer in Hollywood beforehand, working with people like Raoul Walsh um, on films like High Sierra, also with Humphrey Bogart. But Maltese Falcon really launched his career as a director, and this film, once again, is probably considered his best film as a director. Um, I got this movie on DVD for Christmas, so I didn't show you that in my Blu-ray collection video, because it isn't a Blu-ray. Um, there is no way you can get the Blu-ray for this in the UK unless you get a European import with foreign language on the front. Which I'm not really too high on, I don't really want to get that. Um, so hopefully they release this on Blu-ray soon, because I absolutely loved this movie, and I thought it was fantastic. Um, and I'm going to give you some of the reasons why. Now, what I liked about this movie specifically is it's definitely an entertaining adventure movie. Um, it has a lot of nuances of humour, the characters are very entertaining. Humphrey Bogart right at the beginning, he's a very entertaining character. There's a really, really funny scene with this young boy who's trying to sell him a lottery ticket that I really enjoy. And it's a very enjoyable film right from the beginning. Um, and as they start trekking on this um, search for gold, it is a very funny movie. It has definite nuances of humour and it's definitely very entertaining from the beginning. The performances are excellent in this film. Tim Holt um, gets very little credit for this movie. He was not nominated at all. Um, no one ever talks about him. But he's very good in this movie actually, his supporting role. And he's probably the most moral, um, one of the most moral of the people of the three there. Walter Houston, obviously one Best Supporting Actor, the father of John Houston, the director of this film, one Best Supporting Actor for this movie, um, and he's very good in the film, fast talking, um, and he really is the brains behind this operation. And because he's had experience before, he really knows what gold can do to people, and, and he kind of expects the way these people change um, as the film goes along. Um, but really, the highlight of this movie in terms of performances is Humphrey Bogart and I'll get into why because as I've already alluded to when they eventually find this gold you already you can already tell that these people are going to change Humphrey Bogart changes rapidly quickly and begins to become very paranoid um, and filled with greed um, he starts talking to himself, he starts hiding his stash, he becomes very paranoid, and in a certain scene with Tim Holt, he accidentally stumbles upon his stash. But in fact, he's trying to stop him getting attacked by this deadly lizard. But he doesn't believe him. Um, and this is just one of the pointers to the area of paranoia and greed and madness that Bogart's character Dobbs gets to near the end of this film. And Bogart gives one of the best performances I've seen in a long time. This is him at his best. If you think he's suave and cool in Casablanca, and that you and he's an iconic character in that movie, Rick Blaine, but this character is so much more complex, and he's just such a sickening person. He's so paranoid and mad with greed, and really, this is one of the greatest personifications of greed in cinema is Dobbs in this movie, played by Humphrey Bogart, who gives one of the best performances I've ever seen. Um, and as his greed sort of materialises, um, he starts to backstab his, um, his comrades. 
Um, there are certain scenes and situations within this film that test the morality of these characters, um, test how much they are willing to go to, you know, to get this gold, how much gold fever has taken them over. And even though Bogart is definitely the one most consumed by it, Tim Holt has moments where he seems like he may turn, but he never does. Um, and Walter Houston's character has just been there f so many times before that at this point he doesn't even really care about the gold, but this is just kind of something he enjoys doing. This is something that his ambition sort of brings him back to, but he isn't so drawn to the greed. He's already been through that period in his life and he can kind of accept n having or not having it. And in the end, there is some bitter irony in this story, and it is truly a masterpiece by um, John Huston here. Performances are fantastic, it's brilliantly entertaining, but it's also a very complex morality play about how wealth can change people, and how greed can consume people, and change them, and make every single decision they make in, you know, in pursuit of wealth and in pursuit of this gold and this gold fever how specifically Humphrey Bogart's character is completely destroyed and taken over by his greed and paranoia. It has some uh, has an exceptionally good shot near the end with some bandits that I won't spoil too much for you but it's an exceptionally great scene. Um, as I said this is at once a brilliant adventure, brilliantly performed and a fantastic morality play which is the best movie ever made about greed and how it can destroy you. And I love The Treasure of Sierra Madre and I'm going to give it 10 out of 10. So there you go guys, that's my review of The Treasure of Sierra Madre, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, drop your comments down in the section below. Have you seen this movie? If you have, what did you think of it? I would love to hear your thoughts. Is there any Jack, another um, John Huston movies that I should see? I want to see The Ashfelt Jungle at some point, and that's another one of his movies, but um, if there's any more um, sort of hidden gems that you think I should check out, drop those in the comment section below. And then what's your favourite Humphrey Bogart performance? This is definitely his best performance, um, and Casablanca is still fantastic. I also love him in A Lonely Place, which is a very underrated performance from him. Um, and again, as I said, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Goodbye.